everyone, let's quickly recall the key points of today's lecture. In today's lecture, you have started the chapter of statistics where you have learnt about mean. Mean is calculated as sum of all observations divided by the number of all observations and it is denoted by the symbol x bar where x bar is equal to sum of all observations upon number of all observations. Now let's see how do you obtain the mean for ungrouped data. To obtain mean for ungrouped data, very first you obtain your frequency distribution table having values and their respective frequencies. Values are denoted as xi which represents observation of ith class and these frequencies are denoted by the symbol fi which represents frequency of ith class. Then you take the product of fi with xi for respective classes. When fi into xi is taken for each of the class, after that you obtain sum total of all the frequencies. So the sum total of all these frequencies is denoted by the symbol n or sigma fi where i is from 1 to n that is 1 to nth class. In this case we have 5 classes so this will be denoted as sigma fi i is equal to 1 to 5. Then you obtain sum total of all fi xi which is denoted by the symbol sigma fi xi again i is from 1 to n that is nth class. So you obtain finally mean which is given by the formula x bar equal to sigma fi xi upon sigma fi. In both these cases i is from 1 to n which is 5 in this class and you obtain the mean of this ungrouped data set using this. Moreover, we have discussed the mean for group data which can be obtained by three methods where first is direct method, then we have the assume mean method and after that we have the step deviation method. Now let's see how do you obtain mean using the direct method. So you have this data set which contains the group data having the class intervals and their respective frequencies where again the frequencies are denoted by the symbol fi that represents frequency of ith class. Further you obtain the midpoint of each and every class which is denoted by the symbol xi where midpoint is equal to lower limit plus upper limit upon 2. So on calculating that you obtain here 5, 15, 25, 35 and 45 as the midpoint of these classes. Then we take the product of fi with xi for each and every class. So fi into xi is taken for each and every class after that you take sum total of all the frequencies which is denoted by the symbol sigma fi and you also take the sum total of all fi xi which is denoted by the symbol sigma fi xi in both these cases i is from 1 to n here n represents the last class in this case total we have five classes so this will be sigma fi xi i is from 1 to 5 then you obtain the mean using the direct method which is given by the formula x bar equal to sigma fi xi upon sigma fi where i is from 1 to 5 as we have 5 classes. On dividing the sum by the sum total of all frequencies you obtain the final mean of this data set. So in this way you can use the direct method to solve various questions related to finding mean. This is all for now. Thank you for watching.